and it's fascinating. But how many people live for when they get to heaven instead of representing the kingdom and eternal life now? If they are a true child of God, if you're a true child of king and you are an eternal being and your eternity starts now and you are a kingdom representative now, why does a lot of people wait till heaven to try to live that eternal life when they can do it now? Because he's already said, I've given you authority and that you've given me authority over mankind. Other scripture says, I've given them authority, which is the same authority that you've given me, Father. So they should be doing everything I'm doing. And then we walk around and go and can't wait to get to heaven. Which we should. Which we definitely should because he tells us that. But what aren't, give an example of what aren't we, you know, the, the, what we're doing wrong or what we're, we're not doing right versus. Well, if you look at scripture, scripture tells us I should be doing everything and anything Jesus did. I'm not. Okay. So I fail at this. So, go to the controversial stuff. Jesus raised the dead, healed the sick, <laughs> changed the weather. What are some of the bigger things he did? Can't get much bigger than them three. Scripture tells us I have the authority as a, as a member of the kingdom of heaven, as a child of the king, I should be doing the same thing Jesus did. Those three things I've never done. Well, change the weather, I'll... I think I've done that. So uh, the two things I've never done. Because I've asked it not to rain and it hadn't. I've asked it to rain and it has. So, okay, I feel like I did like Elijah. And I was like, okay, because Elijah was a common man just like me and I should do everything he could do. Every promise of God. And, in, and he just got done talking about prayer. If you read 16. Yeah. And, and it's fascinating. And he says, anything you ask the Father... I mean, go back to 16. It's fascinating. This is a rabbit trail. I didn't know where the Holy Spirit's taking us somewhere. Uh, chapter 16, verse 23. This is what Jesus just got done talking about before he talked about the kingdom of heaven. And I got amplified, so follow me. And I'm, I have no idea where we're going. I'm just going to read until something strikes me or you ask a question. In that day, you, you will not need to ask me about anything. Once Jesus has went back to the Father, you won't have to ask Jesus anything. Why did he say that? Because everything they had while they were walking with him those three years, they hey, Jesus, what are we going to eat today? Hey, Jesus, where are we going to stay today? Everything that they relied on, they asked for Jesus. And he says, I assure you and most solemnly say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, as my representative, the Amplified puts in there, which is... Which is helps explain when people take that in the wrong context and say, whatever, well, I can ask for a purple Lamborghini. No, as Christ's representative. If I am a child of the king, I know what the kingdom is supposed to look like. I know what the kingdom offers. I can give you, in your contract it says this. It doesn't say purple Lamborghini. It says I'll get you back and forth to where you're going. And in this time and age, maybe that's your bicycle. But you can get there and you can be past that bicycle once you get the bicycle. But he goes on. In my name is my representative and he will give you. Take it out of context. Whew, we got La La Land. Keep it in context. That's why he wants us to know him. Know him as a kingdom member. Father, as your representative, as your heir of Christ. We get everything Christ gets. I like agent better. Okay, as now, your agent. I've, I've had to deal in my career with, with the law. Mm -hmm. And agent is a legal term. Mm -hmm. And if I'm your agent, mm -hmm. then I can use some, most, or all of your property or your resources mm -hmm. or your proprietary intellectual right. whatever for your purposes right. for the for purposes of the enterprise the yeah. organizational purpose right. lamborghini there probably is but that when you use the term agent that gives the idea that I am, that, that there's actually something going on. There's you have power of attorney. Well, 
the, but, the, but but over over all of that, there's something going on. There's this kingdom going on mm -hmm. in the first place. Right. That oh, by the way, you're you're the king of the kingdom, and I'm your agent. Right. And I'm your agent in in yep. furthering this kingdom. Right. So when I sign a vehicle out of the motor pool, I'm allowed to do that. Right. It's your vehicle, but I'm your agent. I'm able to do that, but I'd better have a kingdom purpose right. for doing right. that. I, I know the king so well that I know what he's going to say. I know what he's thinking. I know what he'll do in this situation. I know the king, when he sees the pauper over there, bless him. I know the king so well when he sees the sick, heal him. I know the king, when he, when he sees any kind of pain and any hurt, Help them get through it and heal them. We the, don't want that in my kingdom. I know the king, but I also have my contract. Right. We have the we have the, we, we <laughs> have we have the Bible that tells us everything the king and I'll put it this expects of us. And that is fascinating to me. That's why I say we don't understand a lot of what he expects of us. Because we get to the point eternal life and we think that's why it's, it's more about getting you to think about the totality of our Christian walk and that's why it's so important. So here it is. And he says, da, 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 24, until now you have not asked the Father for anything in my name, but now ask and keep on asking and you will receive so that your joy may be full and complete. Ask the Father. So your joy. Yeah. So that will be full and complete. 